So when it comes to wealth, one of the few things that people do well to make money, to get their money working for them, and of course to maximize their time in wealth building activities is manage their time well. They just don't know how to do it and they don't focus on it. And you may not be focusing on it either and that's probably why you're feeling overwhelmed. You're not finding enough time to do the things that are gonna produce wealth for you. And if that's the case, then here's a few tips that I wanna give you that will help you move your ability to manage your time forward. Because I know when you can manage your time, you can manage your money better, all right? So it's just about being organized. And I think the fear that people have is if they're very organized, they feel overwhelmed and too busy, but it's actually the opposite. If you're disorganized, you're gonna really carry this heavy burden of overwhelm around with you, and then you won't wanna do anything. So here's a few tips to manage your time more effectively. The first tip is this. You've got to have a diary. And most importantly, I think in now 2023, it's imperative to have an electronic diary. Why? Because you literally take your phone around and you pocket with you wherever you go. So you will be able to take your diary everywhere. Now, what's cool about an electronic diary like Google Calendar that I use is that it gives you alerts when there's things on. So whenever I have an appointment, whether I'm getting my hair cut, whether I've got a meeting, whether I've got an event that I'm doing, okay, it's in my diary. As soon as it's planned, it goes in the diary. There's a reminder in there and I know exactly what I'm doing for the day, for the week and for the month because if you can't do that then you're going to be overwhelmed with things it's really important to be able to put things in your diary so get into the habit of doing that but the other thing is that you can put things into your diary that are actually things that you're wanting to do not always appointments and meetings and events that's obviously imperative but put in your diary things that you are wanting to work on so for example, this technique is called time blocking and it's how all the billionaires do you know, manage their time. So if you wanna do something that's gonna take two to three hours of deep work for you, you wanna put it and schedule it in your diary. Okay, now if you're coming home from work and you've got dinner and you can put the kids to bed and it's 8.30, your time block is 8.30 to 10.30 to get something done. And on Saturday mornings, whatever it might be, it's you time block out things to do them. And I think that particular tip is gonna help you to identify some of your key wealth multiplying activities, put them into your diary so that they're actually there for you to do. The other thing you can do is you can put in there what's called the daily highlight in your diary, which means what's the daily highlight or the one thing you did today that you definitely know is gonna move you forward in your wealth building journey. The daily highlight kind of gives you this ability to do something very productive and give yourself a pat on the back. So you don't feel like the days run away from you and you feel like you've achieved something quite substantive, okay? So the daily highlight is a wonderful way to, to make sure you're being productive. So using your diary is imperative. The other thing to do when it comes to managing your time is have the ability to say no to most things. And I think what happens is we get caught up in wanting to people please and not disappoint other people. So we say yes to things that don't really move us in the direction of our wealth and where we wanna go. So saying no is just as important as saying yes. It's a skill set. And Warren Buffett does this all the time. He pretty well says no to most things. And that allows him to sit and do the things that he loves to do that are gonna produce wealth for him that require his attention and focus. There's a couple of rules you can employ to do this. You can have a rule where you don't do things on school nights. You don't go out. You don't see friends on school nights. You just work your business, your side hustle around your job and spend time with your family and that's it. You might find that on Saturday mornings you don't do anything but work on your side hustle. You may find that your only downtime is Saturday lunchtime to Sunday lunchtime, okay? Where you just literally spend quality time with people you love, but every other time is spent doing the things that you need to do to move your wealth forward. So being able to say no to things, catch up with friends, parties, trips, whatever it is, you can be in a season of no. Building wealth will require you to actually sacrifice those things and spend your time doing things that are gonna produce money, wealth, knowledge, and skill acquirement. So being able to say no is a really important money building skill. Having the courage to disappoint other people because I feel like wealth sometimes is just one uncomfortable conversation after another. But you're gonna to have to disappoint people and say no to them to be able to actually build your wealth and go forward, all right? So that's gonna help you manage your time better because you won't be like spinning rules saying yes to everything. Very hard to do when you first start, but it's certainly something that's worthwhile doing to be able to move yourself forward in your wealth, okay? so. Get your Google Calendar, time block things out, make sure everything goes in there, look at it every day, be run by your calendar because structure creates freedom. Structure creates freedom. And so once you're structured and you're organized, you'll find time to do those things you need to do to build your wealth. And of course, if you say no to more things, you'll create more time. And the last point I've got to make is this, to multiply some of your time, have a look at some of the things you do that are repeatable that you can either get someone else to do for you and delegate them or find a system to do them for you so that the system automatically does it, all right? If you suck with numbers, get a bookkeeper. If you don't wanna do social media, get a virtual assistant. If you don't wanna do certain things, find someone else to do it or find a system to do it for you and that's how you actually find spare time. So they're the, the key components to managing your time better that will allow you to focus on wealth building activities, all right? Because at the end of the day, if you're not spending time on wealth building activities, you're gonna find it hard to build wealth. See you in the next video.